Good morning, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And welcome you to Mornings with Brian and Tyler. Today, as we look at the blessing side of things, we are in Matthew 20, verses 29 through 34. Now, as they went out of Jericho, a great multitude followed him. And behold, two blind men sitting by the road, when they heard that Jesus was passing by, cried out, saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord, Son of David. And the multitude warned them that they should be quiet, but they cried out all the more, saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord, Son of David. So Jesus stood still and called them and said, What do you want me to do for you? They said to him, Lord, that our eyes may be opened. So Jesus had compassion and touched their eyes, and immediately they, their eyes received sight, and they followed him. Okay. Uh, you know, and before we start this recording, I said, you know, each time it's hard not to come back to this one. It would seem obvious, what does a blind person want to receive sight? But there is a point where faith is concerned that you have to give voice to what you want in order to activate the power of God on your behalf. Jesus, they cry out, Son of David, have mercy on us. Okay. And this for me goes against the whole thing. You know, Jesus had, you know, omniscient knowledge about what was in every person's mind and heart and thought and, and, and. They've already asked for mercy. But in asking the question, what specific mercy is it that you want? To receive sight. Jesus says, fine. Moved with compassion, Jesus touched their eyes. Immediately they regained their sight and followed him. The exchange of words is the exchange of the power of faith. Words are not given to us for just generic communication. Words are given to us to activate the power of faith in our universe, in our lives. And, uh, is what it is. Other thoughts, my brother? No, sir. All right, with Adam Brown Reagan, this is Tyler Kelly. We bid you good morning.